Hi everybody, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com next to the benches here at Starfire where Nate Jaqua and Pat Noonan have become all too familiar. Both injured Sounders returning from injuries hope to get back in the lineup for the Sounders FC real soon. Uh, it's never fun uh, watching from the side, but uh, I've had a good week of training and getting sharper. Just need to, to, to get even you know more sharp for, for game fitness and, and game uh, technique. I'm good. Just getting back into it. Um, about in half of the training, and uh, yeah, it feels good. It feels uh, built it up, built it up a little bit today, and uh, still feels still feels very good. I got to be smart about it. I get a little too excited and want to do do a lot more than I probably should at this stage. But uh, now I'm confident. Next week I can start getting into it and get almost full training, and hopefully be ready to go real soon. Each day we're trying to push them a little more. So Nate, uh, you know, played as a neutral again, and we were short, so we had him stand out there in the 11 v 11 a little bit. So uh, you know, each day a little more, and we see how he reacts the next day. Uh, Pat, the same thing. You know, was in full training. You know, is being a little bit careful. He's smart enough where you can put him into full training, and he knows you know not to overextend himself in certain situations. So uh, you know, we'll see. We'll check on him now and see how he feels in regards to what he has in him, minutes, and so forth. Nate Jaqua is coming off a career best season that saw him score nine goals and add seven assists. A lower abdominal injury that required surgery kept him out of most of the preseason and left him on injured reserve to start the regular season. He returned to training on Tuesday and found it difficult to rein in his excitement about returning to the field. It's really difficult, especially because it's been a while and it's exciting to get out there and play with the guys and mix it up a little bit, but you got to keep telling yourself sometimes less is more sort of sort of philosophy. I think he's smart enough to know, you know, and some of the soreness that he's going through right now is not really from the injury, it's soreness from just not having done anything for three months, you know, so he's at the very beginning, he's trying to get in shape, he's trying to get fit, he's, you know, trying to work through the injury, breaking down scar tissue from the surgery, you know, and, and, and trying to get his touchbacks, you know, so there's a lot of things to do at one time. So we just got to be patient, give him time, and, and you know, what happens, he's going to have some good weeks with it, and he's going to have some uh, uh, days that don't look as good. Pat Noonan suffered a hamstring injury in the Sounders 2-2 draw with FC Dallas last month. He has undergone a steady rehab ever since and also returned to the training pitch this week. When you get into the, the practice atmosphere and game atmosphere, you kind of do things instinctively, whereas, you know, when you're just going through the rehab process, you're doing things slowly, you're kind of thinking about things, but when you get out there on the field, you know, then you're just trying to play. And, you know, the first couple of days, I think you're, you're not even worried about your touch or how you're playing. It's just how is my body reacting. And uh, once you get past those couple of days and that mental, you know, imagery, you just then you, you can push a little bit and then you start concentrating on actually making accurate passes. With just one goal in their last three matches, the Sounders have struggled to get on the board. That has made watching the games for a scoring threat like Jaqua even more difficult. Anytime you're watching from the sideline, it's really difficult, especially for me, I always want to be out there and um, we've had a bit of a rough patch, but I mean, I'm confident these guys are going to get out of it. The team will travel to New York tomorrow and train in New Jersey on Friday before the kickoff at 4.30 Pacific time on Saturday against the New York Red Bulls. You can catch the game live on Kong 616. We'll see you in New York. I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com.